Now well, let's take a look at your affirmation. On this first problem, it says, if it is sunny, then Deandra is at the park. Deandra is not at the park. Therefore, it is not sunny. I think you've got the first part right. Because the hypothesis, if it is sunny, the conclusion is Deandra is at the park. So we're going to say, like you said, P implies Q. That's correct. We're told Deandra is not at the park. Well, not at the park would be not Q. So you pick the right one. Therefore, not P. This is the law of contrapositives, which I'll go over in the next slide. So this is valid. Not Q implies not P is your contrapositive. So the only thing you got wrong on this question is you got the validity wrong. That's yes. Now, let's take a look at the three rules that you said were kind of confusing to you. We have the law of contrapositive, which I just did in the previous example. We have the law of detachment that says if you have a true conclusion or a true, a true conditional statement, if the hypothesis happens, the conclusion must happen. Now, be careful. If you've got a true conditional and the hypothesis doesn't happen, you don't know anything. If you've got a true conditional and the conclusion happens, the only thing you know is you know the conclusion. You can't go backwards. The only way you can go backwards on is the law of contrapositive. And we have the law of syllogism, which says if you have two true conditionals, and the conclusion of the first conditional is the hypothesis of the second conditional. You just skip that part. You go from the first to the last. So here's an example or a problem you did. It says, if Milan's cousin is a girl, then the window is above the door. So we can say by the contrapositive, if the window is not above the door, then Milan's cousin is not a girl. We just take the opposite of the conclusion implies the opposite of the hypothesis, and that's it. Let's take a look at another one. If the river is overflowing, then that is Laura's favorite joke. So the contrapositive, if that is not Laura's favorite joke, then the river is not overflowing. So you have to pick the contrapositive there. Let's take a look at another one here. If the bake sale is on Thursday, so I'm going to say the bake sale is on Thursday. That's P. That's your hypothesis. Then Rachel is making cupcakes. So Rachel is making cupcakes. That's going to be our Q. So P implies Q. The bake sale is not on Thursday. So that's the opposite, or the negation of the hypothesis. See the problem? Which you have correct. Okay. Therefore, not Q. Uh-oh. You don't know anything. Just because you don't know the hypothesis means you don't know the hypothesis. The only thing you know is not P. So this was not valid. The law of detachment, you have to know the hypothesis. You don't know the hypothesis. The law of contrapositive, you have to know the opposite or the, in, the negation of the conclusion. That's not what you have here. And you don't have two syllogisms. So this was not valid. Okay, now I've gone over those. Well, let's try the affirmation again. If this is still confusing to you, we might have to have a Zoom session on this. But... Let's try the affirmation again first.